Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Steve Ford. Welcome to your English lesson. Today, we have a new video series. This is our 30 day challenge for everybody who wants to learn English fast. So, smash that like button and hit subscribe, and let's get on with our lesson. Are you ready? Let's go. So many of my students ask me, what is the difference between it doesn't matter and I don't care? And in our first case, you can use it in the same way. It can mean the same thing. So you could say, for example, do you prefer red wine or do you prefer white wine? And you answer, it doesn't matter. Or you answer, I don't care. In that case, they more or less mean the same thing. I don't really have a preference. That's fine. But you can use I don't care to be more emphatic, more forceful, more assertive, sometimes defiant, a little angry. So let's say that you're driving a little over the speed limit. It happens. And you have somebody sitting next to you and they say, hey, hey, you're going over the speed limit. You can say, I don't care or I don't care. So you can see by the way I'm saying that, the intonation that I'm using, that it is stronger than it just doesn't matter. I don't care. I could care less. I don't give a rat's ass. The next one is to care about something or someone and care for someone or something. And here's the basic idea, the difference between the two, is that when you say you care about someone or something, most people care about their family. For example, they have a lot of consideration for them. It's important. There's an emotional connection. You could say he cares about his kids. She cares about her marks. A lot of people care about their physical appearance. It's important to them. It matters. But you will hear some people use care for that way, but it's not that common. A more textbook style of using care for, and maybe you don't know this one, a lot of people don't, is it's a more formal, a more classy way of saying when you don't like something. So let's say, for example, that you're traveling and you go to visit a friend of a friend, you go to their house and they say, oh, I made this food just for you. You look at the food, it's disgusting. There's no way you're going to eat it. So instead of saying, oh, I don't like it, that's a little too direct. You could say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't care for that kind of food. That way you're not going to offend anybody and it sounds really nice. It sounds very classy. Then we have take care of and be careful of. These are different. So when you take care of someone, notice that we use of on the end. You take care of someone, it means that you give them special attention. So. You could say, well, you know, my mother-in-law is really old, so I'm taking care of her while the rest of the family is traveling or something like that. But if you say, be careful of your mother-in-law, that means she's kind of dangerous. And if you're not careful, she's going to do something bad to you. Another one that I will add in there is take care. You'll see this at the end of a lot of messages, emails, text messages. Maybe someone will even say it to you. But in this case, it's just a nice way of saying goodbye. Take care. Take care of yourself. And I hope that you enjoyed this quick 30 day challenge. I will be posting many videos this month. And if you would like to do the free quiz to practice these differences, to learn them by heart, you can do that on my English learning group at this link, as you can see in the video. And you're more than welcome to join. The more the merrier. And I hope that you all take care and we will see you in our next English lesson. By the way, in case you haven't done so, you can subscribe to my channel and watch many more video lessons here. Bye, everybody.